On Saturday morning, Iran's regime announced that it had executed Ali Reza Akbari, a British Iranian dual national. I know that the thoughts of the whole House will be with his wife and two daughters at the time of their loss. They have shared his ordeal, an ordeal which began just over three years ago when he was lured back to Iran. He was detained and then subject to the notorious and arbitrary legal process of the regime. Before his death, Mr Akbari described what was done to him and how torture had been used. Let there be no doubt he fell victim to the political vendettas of a vicious regime. His execution was the cowardly and shameful act of a leadership which thinks nothing of using the death penalty as a political tool to silence dissent and settle internal scores. Now we should consider what further steps, alongside our allies, we take to counter the escalating threat from Iran. We do not limit ourselves to the steps that I have already announced. Mr Akbari's execution follows decades of pitiless repression by a ruthless regime. Britain stands with the brave and dignified people of Iran as they demand their rights and freedoms. Just how much courage that takes is shown by the appalling fact that over 500 people have been killed and 18,000 have been arrested during the recent wave of protests. But the House should be in no doubt that we are witnessing the vengeful actions of a weakened and isolated regime, obsessed with suppressing its own people, debilitated by its own fear of losing power and wrecking its international reputation. Our message to that regime is clear. The world is watching you and you will be held to account, particularly by the brave Iranian people, so many of whom you are oppressing and killing. And I commend this statement to the House.